Hey, y'all, this is your girl, Sharice, and I'm back with another video. <laughs> yes, so I'm coming back with you guys with another video, and I want to talk about uh, this Donald Trump situation and how he's being impeached. Um, His presidency is almost over. So how is that helping us? He has done all kind of stuff. He was able to change a bunch of laws already. How is that helping us that he's being impeached now? Tell me. Before I get started, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on this video. I mean, he was a problem in the beginning. When he first was elected, he was basically dividing races. He wanted to put Mexicans, uh, put, a, put, a, put a wall up in Mexico, and he's talking about their criminals. That should have been a red flag then. He said black people was lazy. I mean, sometimes I'll be honest with you, a little truth to that. <laughs> but what I'm saying is, because, you know, African Americans could do more too and stop, you know, relying on this, oh, I was enslaved, I don't got no. Now you got most of the rights that everybody else got. We got to start getting together. But that's another sidebar. But he started with this whole racial dividing thing. That was his whole tactic in his presidential election. And people still voted him in because he went over to factories and everything. I don't know if it was in Ohio and whatever them where there was the most electronic device. And he took away the factories or whatever and promised them they'll get back if he become president. And people voted for him with that with that crap. You know, he's always came as a divided. And he all oh, the funniest thing about it is he's been him in plain sight. He's been him in plain sight. He's been Donald Trump in plain sight. There is nothing to hide. He been hiding his school records. He lied to get in, get out, get out of her being recruited for the army. He's been lying, and this is the majority of what people picked. You guys, y'all got to get out, and you guys got to get out and vote. As this impeachment and all the rest of this wouldn't be happening. If you keep your ballot and everybody else keep your ballot, there's a way to count who them voted, where they voted, and how they voted. You're not going to lose no vote. You are not going to lose your vote. You're not. Point blank and simple. You're not going to lose your vote. You got to stop that. You got to stop letting people come over here or be here and deceive us with this country. We got to start taking some of our power back. And now they want to impeach him. And they only want to impeach him because they're not getting their way. The Democrats then bent it together. And I love the Democrats. I'm a Democrat myself. But I'm thinking twice about it now. Now you want to get together and impeach this man. And he's almost out the door. It's ridiculous. You let him do how many years in his term? And because he didn't do something you like, because he is not a compliant with your plan, and because Donald Trump is all for himself. Donald Trump is the type of person that is all for himself. He's made it clear. Look at him with his business moves. And you know what? He actually got his name on the Trump. Now, I don't know if a lot of people do this too. His name is on the Trump Tower, but he don't own it. But he still received proceeds because he branded it. Now, he branded it. So since he branded it, he received proceeds, all them proceeds from that, which is millions because everybody want to go to Trump Tower because they found out that he this big old businessman. But he don't even so he don't even have to gotta pay taxes. Whoever owns the building gotta pay the taxes. So he's bamboozling and fooling people all around the globe. He's been doing this. That's been his motive. He's for himself. And I think it's ridiculous to impeach a man that's almost out the door. What he can't do, write law, what he can't do, write laws or whatever. There's stuff in place that he's already done. He didn't did a government, a government shutdown. Everybody's so scared they're not going to get their checks and their monies and funds. He didn't went and told all this information. And you don't know what information you impeach, impeaching them now, but you don't know 
What information? Yeah, I'm fixing my thing. You don't know what information he already has told. We are in danger. And he's definitely abusing his power. And I do, okay. So get him out better late than never. Okay, that's cool. But you let him sit up here. You voted him in. You gave him that power. It was such a sad day. I wanted Hillary to be president so bad. I was like, what is these people thinking? That y'all literally voted him in. Vote after vote after vote. It's like, are you dumb? I don't know what to say. I don't know what to say. And I had to say it. That's not going to stop him. I don't even think he's made a statement. I don't think he, because he don't care. And then you should have known how businessman go know something about presidency. He's a businessman. He ain't been in Congress. He ain't been through, he ain't been no mayor. He ain't been no, um, what is that when you over a state? I don't know what it is. But he ain't even been a representative over a state. Fresh out of a business office. Who does that? We got to stop being so deceived. I mean, I'm just saying we got to wake up, people. This is serious. We got global warming and everything to worry about. At a two year, I remember this little girl, she was doing a little segment. She was so upset. She was saying that in the next, I guess, 20 years or something, that we're going to be running out of air supply. What are we going to do? Run around here with oxygen tanks? Voting is very serious. And you got to do research on the people that you're voting for. And when they show you who they is, believe them. But we have a huge, a huge, a huge, I will say a huge underlining racial issue in this country. And we got to let it go. Black people need to let it go and so does white people. Because then you did come over and take some people from somewhere where they were doing okay. And we did sell some of our people into slavery. But it's time to let it go. But I think the fear is, is that if we, if we do that, if we let, if we let the race thing go, that it gives, they, you lose your power. That's, that's the whole thing. This, all this is a power trip. People feel that they're going to lose their power. And it's not, it shouldn't be about that. It shouldn't be about losing your power. It should be about doing what's the best for the majority. Because you can keep all the power in the world. But wonder if we can't breathe no more. Wonder if this, wonder if this pollution, all these cars. Wonder if we can't breathe no more. You dead too. Like everybody else. You're dead too. Like everybody else. This President Trump thing is ridiculous. And this should wake us up on so many levels. If this right here don't wake you up on so many levels, it should. It should get everybody from young to old in more politics, finding out about their local government. That It starts there with your local government. Who you vote in has your mayor, your city council. It starts there. Because those people inform you on bigger things and higher issues. Then you go to your state. Who's your district, whatever they call them, I don't know. For the less you know, we need to know more about that. I need to know more about that. And if you do know more about that, educate someone else. Educate someone else. Start a class. Charge it five bucks or two. You got, we got to do better. This is for our life and our sake. You only get one life. You only get one. And you can't afford to waste it on foolishness. And people's foolishness. You know, we got to do better as a people. We really do. And I know some people out there agree with me. I know some people out there agree with me. It's about taking ownership. You got to take ownership. Okay, I messed up. What can I do better? I messed up. What can I do better? 
I mean, because it's not everybody. It's not everybody. I tell you that right now. Some people, like I said, feel just like me. And they want to do better. But if you don't got a support system and the majority of the people is with the bull crap, then it's a waste of time. If the majority of the people is with the bull crap, it's a waste of time. And we just going on and we just living our lives, not knowing that we're putting ourselves in sheer danger. We really are. We are putting ourselves in so much danger. We got to be careful with that. Well, I'm out of here, you guys. That's my rant. That's my little thoughts on that. This General Trump, I just, it just don't make no sense to me. It really don't. It don't make no sense to me. He's almost out of the office. I think maybe, does he got one more year? Does he, I think maybe he got one more year. He has one more year. And I know you can't do a lot in a year, so I know somebody might disagree with me. And I'll accept that. I'll accept that. But still, I'm just thinking, y'all should have never 